Okay, the question's always been, how do you um, make your truck into a mobile office? And what I've done, I've been doing this for probably about eight years, and I've really enjoyed it. But first, most important is to have a really good mount uh, in your truck to hold your computer. And I've really liked these um, uh, these RAM mounts. It's uh, RAMmount.com. You can look at those. But they make a special bracket. This one bolts right on to the seat bolts, so it's really, really strong and it's really, really solid. But it also has a lot of settings on it, so you can um, swing it around and, and get it to a, a position right where you want. The brackets are adjustable, so you can put them right where you want to hold your computer into place. But this, and it's all spring mounted, so you can just place your print computer in there and um, uh, just go ahead and hold that into place really solid while you're uh, driving around most of the time. But I'll place this into my computer my computer into the mount and you can see how quick that went right into the bracket and it holds it quite solid and I've never had a problem with that coming loose. The next thing is how do you power your computer and um, and what I do is you can see I've got the uh, inverter box for the uh, computer right here and then it runs and plugs right into my dash you can see that over here plugs right into the dash and uh, my, comp my truck is mounted with uh, or comes with a feature with a uh, um, 115 volt uh, AC adapter there so uh, also too I have um, you take that cord and it comes runs up here and I just go ahead and just plug that right into uh, to my computer so that plugs right into the power uh, inlet on the one side and then also uh, for printing, because I uh, definitely it's best if you can print your proposal while you're on on the project, is I have down here I have the uh, a, a printer cable that just runs off the USB port and runs right back to my um, printer that's in the back seat there. Now I typically get about four to five years out of a computer in my truck. I <clears throat> I I've left them overnight in my truck in my garage and haven't had problems. I've, they got pretty hot at times and pretty cold but if you take good care of them uh, they should last you quite some time there so um, in the back seat here this is in the passenger seat of my truck but in the back seat I have um, uh, a printer in the back but then I also power that with an inverter and this is a uh, uh, 500 watt inverter and I've actually ran both my computer and my printer off this one inverter now notice how uh, even though my um, truck is not running uh, this is hot so it's it's uh, plugged into the um, always on uh, 12 volt adapter and it has an on off switch so you can turn that off I've actually charged uh, batteries to like my cameras and stuff uh, off of that at the same time while it runs our printer now the printers I use are I, I call them uh, throwaway printers but they're just the uh, you know your Sam's Club uh, version uh, less than $100 printers. They do have a scanner and then they, their color, uh, just a uh, uh, just a jet printer, nothing real fancy. But then it, your uh, uh, the power comes from your inverter uh, to your your uh, uh, inverter box for your uh, printer, and then it just runs right up into the back of the uh, printer and, and just uh, powers it. Now the other plug is one that came from the front uh, under my seat through to the back seat and this run, hooks the computer to my, uh, it's just your regular USB uh, printer cord, so nothing fancy about that. But anyway, uh, with that I'm able to um, um, work up an estimate on my computer and uh, print it off and uh, give it to the customers while I'm right there. Uh, it's worked out really, really good for me for many years. Thanks.